darlings thank you so much for joining me on my channel today and today i have a pack with me for my retreat so i am leaving tomorrow for a retreat and i'm so excited um and um this is one of the things that i love about this community this bible journaling community getting together and fellowshipping and meeting all of my online sisters in christ and uh face to face so i'm excited for that so i'm going to show you what i am packing up to take to this retreat so usually i take a lot of projects or I pick a couple of projects is what I should say. And then all of the coordinating supplies I need to work on those projects. But for this retreat, I have zero projects in mind. What I have in mind is to have some creative play, to try out different things, to test uh, different techniques uh, and learn from the other ladies as well, and also to use some of the products that I have not used. So um, one of the things I know off bat that I want to play with, and you guys would remember this from my last pack with me for my retreat, is this is a little pouch from By the Well for God. And I love this because it fits so much. And I have all of my mica stain distress uh distress sprays in here i mean when i tell you I have a lot i think i have about 12 of these and then i do have also my glossy accents one of my liquid pearls a dimensional item and i also have my princess gold embossing powder so i have all of those things right in here uh, because i know i want to play with these now i also watercolor with these um, and I know you guys have probably seen that on my channel. So I'm taking this small little six and pardon the dust that's on here. Uh, this small little uh, six piece. This is from Dollar Tree. And it's a little like stain from some of my sprays because this is the one I use to travel. That's why it has dust because it just sits in my travel bag. So I pack this and this and I actually think I can probably yep, shove this right in here. And then my water pen, of course, my water brush pen. And so that goes all with that. And this will be packed up and ready to go. Um, adhesives. So I'm going to take my tape runner, Coco Ina, and you'll see why, and uh, my Tombow Mono Liquid Glue. I love liquid glue. Um, I feel like it does better and... Um, I, I just love it. It has the two, it has the pen tip and the broad tip and this one and the green one is my favorite, but this one and the green one are two of the ones that I love um, using. And then I have, that's why I have the Cocoina, two fat quarters. I had purchased this in the fall to cover a journal and I never, I never got around to it. So I, um, if I have some downtime, I would love to cover my journal and you'll see that journal i'm bringing it along for some creative play as well so that's why i have my cocoina glue for that okay i'm also going to take this ruler i actually got this at a bible retreat uh four years ago and because it's small it's so easy to carry so this is always in my travel bag as well um, there are some items that I have that are simply for traveling to retreats or when I'm traveling with my Bible journaling supplies. I'm bringing my X-Acto knife. Um, the blade is short enough that they will not have anything to say about that. Um, this fine, uh, VersaFine Black's Onyx, I've had this for years and it's my favorite. I have the big one that you probably see on my channel all the time. And I have this mini one just for travel, but I also picked up, and you probably saw this in a haul video, I also picked up our other VersaFine colors, and I thought this was perfect for when I go to retreats. I specifically brought this for retreats. So I also have Spanish Moss with me, Crimson Red, Vintage Sophia, um, Satin Red, and Ma Majestic Blue. So I have these five colors plus my black onyx. These are all still closed because I haven't opened them up. But I brought this little bundle from um, By the Well for God specifically for when I go to Bible journaling retreats. So I'll just add my black one to that one and we're good to go. So that's going with me as well. I also got this stamp block and I just made sure that everything that I am packing as far as stamps is going to be stampable with this one. It's a smaller stamp block. I didn't bring my really big one or my really long one because I don't think 
it is necessary with this one and I'm gonna bring my mini one as well. I think I have more than enough. I'll also bring my um, date stamp and this one's small and I love it as well. And um, yeah, so I have my mini stamp. Okay, what else am I bringing? Distress watercolors. These distress or actually watercolor pencils is what I should say. I have never used these, these guys, you guys. And I have seen the girls on my um, team use these a lot. And so I would love to get some feedback and to play with these. So I have this and this watercolor pack. Um, so I can do some creative play with that. So I brought this. Again, I don't have like a specific project in mind, just some creative play. As you can see, this is brand new. I've never used these, so I thought I would bring it along so I can sit maybe on the porch and do some watercoloring, get some feedback from the girls and um, see what I can do with this. So this is something else that I brought. I also also have a pack of 25 flat cards. These are from uh, scrapbook.com. And the only reason I'm not making cards, these are just like the flat uh, card stock. Um, so these are flat cards, they don't open up. And I brought this just because it's card stock and it's a nice weight, it's 80 pound weight. And these are perfect for me to use just to um, play with some of my supplies. That's basically why I brought it so I can um, you play with these. So I have 25 of these so I can do some creative play. Um, I've also picked out some of my inks um, that I will, bring, I will be bringing. So I'm bringing, I believe, eight. I have four in cool colors, so greens and blues. And I have, oh, I guess five in the warmer tones. So pinks, oranges, and a yellow. Of course, I brought my absolute favorite color, whole wide world, saltwater taffy. But yeah, um, I'm bringing all of these. I may leave one because I was thinking of only bringing eight. So I am going to store that away. So what I will do is, and I love these mesh bags. You can pick these up on Amazon. Um, I love these mesh bags for storing and then um, slipping this into a, another pocket so I hope to actually perfect and then yeah I think I'll leave one. Oh, which one am I gonna leave my warm colors okay you really don't want to leave salt water taffy I know you guys are probably like take them all but I really do need to okay I think I might leave saltwater taffy. This is my absolute favorite color. And I know I, I use it all the time in creative play, so I probably don't use it, don't need it. So that will go there. And then I will just slide my glues right in here. And I wish that laid a little bit more flat. It's okay. There we go. Everything fits just so. Okay, perfect. Okay, so that all my inks are packed up, and then these slide perfectly into these bags, as you can see. So I will also add my other inks into this bag. And this is also a By the Well for God bag, it's so big and it fits so much. But I love it because now I can just easily slide in everything else into here. Um, these I'm probably going to put into a pouch as well. And um, maybe like a mini pouch. I have so many pouches. Again, they're perfect for storing. And what I'll probably do is just. slide all this into here and I only do this to make sure little pieces like this don't get so don't get lost at like the bottom of my bag I like for everything to have a place <laughs> so all packed up so I'll just slide that one in there as well and I can probably fit this watercolor one yep and then that is good to go I'll close that up. Perfect. So these are packed up. 
Um, and now that I think about it, I think I'll leave this exacto knife. Okay, perfect. So I have all of my mica sprays and all my bottles in here. My inks and my other things are in here. So these are two bags that are ready to go. Okay, let's move on. I've already packed up the stamps that I'm taking. So in this pouch, another pouch, as you can see, I love these. In this pouch, I brought um, some stamp sets that I haven't had time to play with and also some rub-ons. Okay, so I purchased this Books of the Bible and then of course there's a little mini one that has these. I probably won't use this, but I like to keep them together. I'm, I want to um, store them together so I brought it so I can organize it better. But I brought this so I can make tabs for my journals because you can also tab your journals. And I was hoping to do a video on that. So once I do make the tabs, hopefully during this retreat, I will make a video about tabbing my journal. So I brought this because I haven't had time to do this and this, and I'm gonna be using it together with this By the Well for God stamp. Let me see if I can find a backer, something to back it with. So you guys can see, I hope you guys can see that. You guys can see exactly what I'm talking about. So um, this is, different types of tabs so i'll be using this to make tabs with this books of the bible so i'll be bringing this one also i will be doing some of course some um, word study as i'm out so i'll have hebrew and greek alphas and also this notarized because i love this stamp down here that is perfect for word study the, these three i know is going to be a, a staple always my favorite favorite alpha of all time which is this alpha i don't even know the name of this alpha i just know it's my favorite alpha from by the well for god and so i brought it so i can do stuff with it my favorite number set because i love these matthew numbers with the two um i love these two frames as well so this is my favorite alpha stamp this is my favorite number stamp so these are coming and then all of those distress oxides i perch i brought so i can do some creative play and do i want to do lots of summer florals um just to have in my stash ready to go for any type of projects that i'd love to do so again no projects just some creative play and these are all of those stamp sets that i am bringing okay i also have some clear um stamp these are stamp um pocket holders just in case i need to organize anything i always like having a couple with me so that is my stamps that i'm bringing along okay for creative play i'm bringing this journal this is the journal that i hope to wrap and um let me see i did in here the but god devotional so i have like all 14 days of but god in here i also did some other creative play in here and so i have tons of pages left this is a american crafts mixed media journal that i got from joann's it's super cheap i think this is like 9.99 i know i shared it on my channel i hauled it when i got this uh last summer and so i'm still using this and i love to use this just to try out i've tried distress oxides in here um over here i have like a watch a, a stitch swatch but i actually use it to do a washi um a washi swatch i've used this with mixed media i love getting messy in here i've used this with different types of um oxides as well um what else can i show you so i have used this in different types of ways and i love playing in here this was with watercolors so this is really good paper it's just a good journal to do some mixed media play or um, creative play so i'm bringing this journal with me i'm also going to wrap it i brought that fabric and of course because i'm going to be doing all of that art stuff i'm going to bring my um, this is my heat gun sorry i don't know why i was losing it so this is my heat gun so the only thing that i am missing are my mini tim holt scissors which are my five inch scissors those um i have to grab from downstairs but those will go with me and i have traveled with those before because i am going on an airplane and they let me go through TC, uh, tsa with them so they are the perfect size so i will grab those and all of this and i am bringing my trusty caddy i hope let me see if i can zoom out a little bit there we go um my trusty caddy where i will store all of this 
and it has um, handles. So it'll be easy for me to carry from my room to my craft space. So that is it. That is everything that I am packing. Um, so all of this, plus my scissors, which I'll grab downstairs. And also, of course, I have my Bible and I usually carry that in my hand. Um, I don't, I, I'm afraid of leaving my Bible anywhere. So I carry it either in my hand or on my carry-on. But um, that is it. That is all I'm packing for this uh, month. And I can't wait, or this trip, and I can't wait to share with you guys all the awesome things that I made. And sometimes I make a lot, sometimes I create a lot, or sometimes I just fellowship. We'll see what happens this trip. I'm so excited, and I can't wait to share with you guys more. I don't know if I'm going to vlog this one. I usually do vlog my retreats, but I do want to take this one to just have some creative play, some fellowship, and some rest. So we'll see how that goes. Thank you so much for joining me each and every video, darlings. God bless. Bye.